Hi everybody, welcome to Once Driven Forever Smitten. We are going to be heading out to Cruise Irvine, the first one of the year I think it is, which is taking place at the end of May. Uh, the main one takes place at the end of July, which we were at last year in Kenzo's GTE. We'll be going to that as well, but in the meantime, we're going to take the Cavalier out there. Um, it's just a bit of paintwork and a tidy up, because it was badly needing it. I'm going to give it a quick wash now before we head out as well. Weather's lovely and all. Although it's not supposed to be as nice over there, it's supposed to be a bit windy and cold, but... Let's get a shift on. Seeing as it's a special occasion, and that we're going out to a car event, the Cavalier has had a much needed spruce up. Look, we've got the black SRI style grill, and we're going to decide we've painted the back quarter. We've done it too quickly, because we didn't have the time, we need to sand it down. But it looks a lot better than it did. I'm quite pleased about. Looks a bit more respectable again. Alrighty, it's Sunday morning. I'm just getting ready to go out to Irvine. Eee, back quarter isn't too bad considering we did it so quickly. You need to sand that down to get a proper finish, but anybody who's seen it um, recently will know how bad it was looking, so I'm just going to give it a quick wash off, hit it with a little bit of polish. Um, and that'll just have to do it. This is all very last minute, because I didn't really pay attention as to when this was actually on. Trim dressing on the old faded bumpers. Yeah, this stuff makes a huge difference. Hopefully it digs in all right. Ah, this chrome trim gels. Good stuff, like. Works well on the severely faded bumpers in the car. Yeah. Smart it up quite substantially for a little while. Before it fades again. Might as well hit the tyres as well with a drop. We're really going, going for it today. That wheel's going to clean again. Right up. Tim Horton's alert over there. Oh wait the now, actually, is it though? Oh no guys, it is complete. <laughs> There's something rare, sport wheels with the centre caps on them. Aye, uh, yeah. I didn't see many of them. Luckily, so I didn't have to try and hunt them down separately. Hmm. Ah, uh, we're here, we're just waiting to go and head down to Irvine. And the course of bees. Got that 29,000 mile on it. It's immaculate. Oh, he's got the funky SRI steering wheel. Hmm. Yeah, there was, I must say, this is looking quite not like a shed. Quite pleased. As long as they don't get too close to there. But it's alright. And yeah, we're going to make a move. Our wee Corsa um, B crew. Follow along, maybe get some videos of them. If we pass them, stop in again. Quite a nice day, a lot of car stuff going on, a couple of BMWs and some Mustangs over there. Hey, well we've caught the Corsas up after losing them immediately after leaving the retail park.
Cruz Orvin. Right folks, we're headed to Cruz Orvin. We're at the beach. It's quite peaceful over here. Uh, it's quite cold, a bit windy. A lot of cars here. Not a lot of old school Vauxhalls, but I think we've managed to pick out most of them as you'll see. Some of them nice classics as well. Mostly nice Fords, a couple of Corses and things. Uh, we'll get a look around those and maybe go and speak to a couple of people as well, see how they're getting on. Cavaliers. <laughs> this is really busy. You need to go back in the top bit to do that. Doing a bit of GoProing in the police or something like that. I don't know if they'd be bothered or not. <laughs> oh, somebody's doing a burnout. Um, what was that? A Honda. I know that's an Arbor going. Hmm. And there are major ruts in the ground wire. Like everybody's sitting with their wheels up either side of them. I'd pull your exhaust off. You sat down in the middle of there. There's plenty of spaces you can move there. Oh, loads of spaces you can move there. Right, I see. You. I see. Just super busy over by that other bit. Somebody's doing drifting in a Mazda MX-5. They won't see it that well from over here. Uh, in fact, there's a few of them at it. There's a BMW 5 Series and somebody in a Fiesta scalping about. I would imagine if I was in charge of it. There's an Audi going for it. This isn't going to last very long. Position. Some nice cars here, so go and go and have a look about and see what's what. See if anybody's going to blow their motor up or do something stupid for everybody else's entertainment. Yeah, what's the black trim still looks quite black on it, which is nice. That's all our car says. We were in McDonald's for like half an hour because it was super busy. And there's Sam's Astro Merit, which was here last August. August, July, whenever it was over last year. Ah, uh, there was just somebody screaming it about in an Audi A3 there, like a four-wheel drive. Surprise, Something, somebody's going to come a cropper here, like. Uh, there's a, a couple of BMWs, I don't know. That's about a laugh. How you doing on it? Yeah, yeah. right. This is the hi. This is the one that won't run when it's hot. Yep. Mysterious, eh? Yeah. But heat so good it. Yeah. Hmm. Extra convertible. 
I think this is just a 1600. Oh, for sale. It's got the same interior in it as the one Cavalier SRI. That's in my driver's seat at the moment. It's just a small block. What's oh, getting revved up? Oh, it's a Toyota Starlight. I'll sort it right out. Cost of the XR. Team Dynamics racing wheels on it, nice. And the handling's amazing on these things, they look absolute go karts. Such good fun to drive. I haven't driven one since I was in Total Vox, so that'll be over 10 years, unfortunately. Another V Cost of Wearing a set of Cavalier CDX alloys. <laughs> Vectra. Namondeo. Good old sales rep motors, they're big. Now, I take it. We've got it for another round. <laughs> Here. It's not warm though, nowhere near as warm as it was last time it was here. That's all packed out, there's a big queue back that way. I was walking along the kind of top, the ridge, up the top of the hill. The grass drifting still on the go. We've got two MX-5s, a Mini, a BMW Estate, a BMW Coupe. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Look at his BMW that is. <laughs> Tidy in Arbor Grain. Nice. Modified outcasts is the person. A couple of Astras did now. I'm back to old school though. Not Vectra, we're a VXR. That's him. Ali Shaw is trucks here. Which was in the cover of Truck and Driver magazine and he'd organised the Grand Prix and Truck Show that I was at the other week. For truck and driver, obviously, not for the ones driven forever smitten. And he's knocking about. It's a really, really tidy Volvo FH. It's got all the um, McRae rallying dynasty airbrushed all over it, uh, which includes some Vauxhall and Opel stuff. Now, we've got the Nova Sport on there, and we've got the Opel Asconas, which I'll show you the now. It's an FH 500. I think we had it in the magazine in 2020. Um, and we had it again there just a couple of months back uh, for a special feature. Colin and Jimmy and Alistair on it. So there we've got the Horizon, Ascona, Legacy, Focus. We got a bit of everything. There's the famous L555 Black Subaru on it. Looking at the other side we've got, I don't know, I think that's a Hyundai. Nissan Sunny, that's a Hyundai. A cart. Tidy bit of cat, five star vehicle deliveries. Not this five series, like sharp nose thing, look. It's a hand woven, it's a Harris tweed from the Outer Hebrides. It's a deceit stun in genuine tweed. That's fantastic. That was amazing. It looks like the kind of cloth you get in a Cavalier Envoy or a base spec. 
It's got a phone in it and everything, but obviously it'll be a lot posher. Yes, look at that. I've got an insignia with a big roof box on it, that's an eye. Of course a VXR over there. Awful lot of Ford and Fiesta ST is definitely a very popular car. Mad chrome wrap down there. What they get is that weird bridge over there, which looks like it's broken. Ooh, Subaru Forester. Look at that. There they go, that'll be the ultimate car for a lot of people here. Because of the, the Dal Blair of Air number plates on it. Essential RS accessory. Beautiful. Full leather on it. Also got the essential Dal Blair of Air RS number plates. That's really nice. It makes me think, you know, Vauxhall should have made more of the Cavalier Turbo. When you look how the Sarah is. Oh God! Fucking bikers! Piss off! The Red Astra GSI. Oh, well, not too many of them going about. These will be up and going up in value soon. There. That is nice. Yellow. Yeah, that's nice. Dodge Challenger. There we go. Tell you what, the old, the, the old school Fords are impressive. Little XR2i. The very early one on a G plate. I think the earliest you got these was an F. Oh wow, that's that's nice. Showing 51,000 on the clocks, and that could well be original. Old school Vauxhall detected. We found one, folks. And I think it's a Calibra SE. No, no not an SE9. I thought SE9 is a cream light. Oh, it does, it says SE9 on the dash. These are the wheels that I've got on my GSI. That'll be low mileage on it. These are a nice spec, these full heated leather and um, air conditioning and VBS wheels on them. It's got the... Yeah, that's very nice. Not like poking my nose in. 52,000 miles on this. Yeah, we like that a lot. And he's got the Armstrong number plate surrounding it as well. Have a look at his tyres, because I've got 205 45s in mine, and they're sticking, they look like a right bit. A nice rim protection on them. Falcon ZX. Mm. Ooh, the springs are on that as well, because that's the sort of ride height that Kenzo wants for his car. Alright, how's it going? How Alright, is this yours? No, it's no. not mine. I've, I've got the white one. The white one? Aye, uh, see the white one. Is it here? The one oh, you mentioned. Yeah. Yeah, there's the police. <laughs> Little Polo Estate with a 16 valve badge on it. Under there's a 16 valve. Right. Once again, my poor brain. Scottish owners. Owners of what? What do you own? You know, all sorts of things. Cupboards. My own cupboard. Oh, ST owners, that's what that means. Got a bit of this, a bit of um, Agri spec with a Cruise Greenock, an Almera. Got the um, CB radio aerials. CBs need to make a comeback in 2022. I'm getting a CB installed in my car. I want everybody else to go and do it as well. They're going to be CB friends. Oh, there's an Astra ploughing some holes in the ground. Let's go and have a watch at this.
thousands, hundreds of cars as well, and this whole drifting that thing is getting pretty interesting. <laughs> Good, I like it, and I'm here. just like back in the old days. I 
he's done, so I think he's probably paid something like looks like the wheels buckled he's doing, in. He's doing fucking Brexit, not to be chocolate. Oh, now there's a crowd coming around it as well. It appears to have uh, I think he's buckled the wheel. It's like he's pulled the C V joint or something out of it. As you can see this is a uh, um, Interest to the crowd, aye. Yeah, he's broke his hand, to be fair. It's probably not a bad thing when that's happened when it was, because he was going harder and harder and harder, like, and he was going to end up. Because if it takes a bite into that dirt, it'll go over on his, it'll go over on his roof. Fantastic. And of course, as everybody else is still running about, going to stop while the people running over. Look, people are literally sprinting over to see the broken golf. <laughs> Back with Sam, old old motors and old Rike. For uh, last July, we were here when it was really warm and it's not today, let me tell you, it is cold. His Astro's looking as mint as ever. Look at that. That is outstanding. And fair play, keeping it as an original merit. How many of you out there would just be dying to get your grubby mitts on this and go and turn it into a GSI rep or a sleeper, you know? Look at that. Look at these arches. Look at that. Oh, hold on. We interrupt this to bring you idiot a civic. Oh. Yeah. Disappointing. Yeah, it's little minis parking beside my cavalier. That's so cool, how original that is. No G player. Fantastic. <laughs> like that a lot. <laughs> oh no, hold on. I think this might be this might be Mr. Golf. It was only his tyre, that was all that happened to it. No mechanical damage, that's good. Fair play to him. <laughs> just met Kevin, who's come to give us a bit of Vauxhall memorabilia for the channel. Are you going to roll out? It is. Ding! Oh, cool! Look at that! John Cleland, the original. Oh, this is from the Vectra season, this is for 1996. When he first started out. Of course, Mr. Cleland's racing again this weekend. He's at Olden Park, eh? And uh, the VX220, original. This one. Hello, how are we doing? Not bad, yourself. Hi, sound man, eh? Thanks very much. Cheers, Kev. Donating some uh, Vauxhall memorabilia, the ones driven forever smitten cars. So we'll get that up in the workshop. You'll be able to see it in the background of some of the videos, eh? Thanks, Cheers. There it is, <laughs> um, Actually, that'll be why things got a bit quiet and uh, people stopped razzing it around the track because the pole has turned up. To be fair, I mean, they were making a mess of it, like, I suppose it was fun while it lasted. But somebody was going to take a bite into that, it was getting a bit wild. But there you go. <laughs> Trying to get out. That guy gave me a poster. Yeah, Corsa VXR's popular, there's another one over there on a 68 plate. There's another one over there. And somebody try to come in the way. Hmm. Cute to get out. And that Astra VXR, is it? Yes. Those are standard VXRs that we're starting to get. Got in value a bit. All the battered ones like that one that somebody was screaming round the grass oval there. Probably the more likely candidates for getting ripped to bits in the engine spitting something else, but what?
Right, so that was Cruz Irvin. It was all right. Um, not as good as last year, but then again, I don't think that's the, the, the main one. The motorbikes and the quads knocking about um, were a bit worrying, like they were going to run somebody over. And uh, the hillbilly grass drifting was definitely interesting, you know. Um, it was probably lucky that somebody didn't come a cropper on that, um, and the police turned up when they did. I uh, really don't think you're allowed to do that, and I hope it hasn't affected the event for the future. Um, I don't know how naughty it actually was, scuffing around in the grass like that. It was, you know, a bit messy, but... I don't know, I'm not the one to judge. Anyway, I'll catch you guys again soon. Catch you later. Nice and hot today, isn't it? Bob agrees.